Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 2024 Complimentary Group Clearing. I usually do this on New Year's Eve. This year I did it uh, a few days later because we were doing the uh, Aligning with Universal Laws video series. And I actually already just finished this group clearing. I finished leading it and doing it. And we realized that halfway through connecting to the light, we hadn't hit record yet. So here I am, I'm going to re-record the introduction to, to this call. And you'll notice that I kind of switch over to the actual recording in the middle of connecting to the light. So those of you who have never done a group clearing with me before, the way that I do a group clearing is first we connect to the light and we expand your energy out so that I, I so that you are connected with all your blocks, all of the things, and then from there we clear the energy. So, um, yes, and we ended up usually what I do is I read the field before I you know I I select a topic based on what energy people are bringing. And so what we did was we kind of went with the law of trust, one that you learned about in the Aligning with Universal Laws video series. And those of you who did Universal Law School one, uh, there's also a full lesson on that, but uh, this is a clearing on that. So kind of one of the angles of it. So I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, you'll notice that I'm just going to record this first part of connecting to the light, and then it'll transfer over to the actual live clearing that occurred uh, earlier today. So, all right, so go ahead and close your eyes if you can and breathe into your heart, noticing all of the cells and the organs and tissues and bones in that heart chakra, noticing how it's all made up of energy. And as you're breathing into that heart, you're just starting to notice that all of that energy is vibrating at a certain pace or frequency. And just allow yourself to bring your awareness up from the heart now into the throat and up into the third eye, up into the crown. And then just go ahead and bring your awareness 300 feet above your head where you're gonna see, sense, or feel a pure consciousness, bright white liquid light. And you're going to feel that energy coming down from above and moving into your crown. And just allow that light to now move into the brain, the physical brain, allow pure consciousness to enter into all the space in between all the cells. So your brain is made up of energy and space. We're just letting pure consciousness move into that space, merging your brain with the mind of God, the mind of the universe, the mind of pure consciousness. And allowing that light to come down into the third eye, into the ears, into the face, the neck, the throat. And just allowing that light to just penetrate any and all heaviness, all stuckness, all stories in that throat. Anywhere you've got energy that filters your truth, just to let that light hit all that energy and start to dissolve the blockage. And let that light move down the shoulders and into the heart. Noticing that heart, anything it's holding, anywhere you've got protection up, just let that light hit that protection and dissolve it away. We're just asking any and all blocks to start releasing in the presence of this pure light. And just allow that light to now move down into the solar plexus. Anywhere you've been sucker punched or you've given your power away, anywhere you're holding stories of disempowerment, just let that light penetrate those stories and that energy. Good, swirling that light around the solar plexus. And just allow that light to move down into the belly, the sacral chakra swirling around that sacral chakra, any of the blocks in the way of creating a new reality, creating a new story this year, start to feel that light penetrating all those blocks, all those energies. And allow that light to now move down into the root chakra, into the base of the spine and the hips. Breathing into that base of the spine, starting to bring more and more pure consciousness to the base of the spine. Good. Letting some of those neural networks get a download of pure consciousness. And letting that light move down the legs and down into the knees, down the shins and 
calves and ankles down into the feet and just feel that light, let it go down into the ground and then all the way down to the center of the planet. And at the center of the planet, you're gonna see, sense and feel a warm, gooey, pink mother's love energy, pure unconditional support from mother earth. And if you didn't know this mother's love here in the human realm, that's okay. Notice how it's even stronger here than anything you could imagine as a human. Go ahead and feel that unconditional support, unconditional love. Good. Unconditional support for everything you want to do here at this time on this planet in this body. Go ahead and just let yourself sink into this unconditionally loving, supportive energy. As we get this energy downloaded into our being, into our soul, into our field of energy, that provides a lot of grounding for anything we want to create moving forward. Who would you be if you felt this supported all the time? Good. And then just go ahead, take another deep breath in to this mother's love. Exhale. And then just go ahead and bring this light up from the center of the planet, up from the center of the planet, all the way up until it hits your feet. And then feel it coming up the ankles, up the knees, all the way up. And then when it hits your root chakra, just feel that root chakra lighting up, filling in with that warm pink supportive energy. Let that chakra, let that space in that chakra fill in with this energy. Moving that energy up into the sacral chakra, go ahead and just allow that to light that second chakra up just below the belly button. Go ahead and feel that light now moving up into the solar plexus, just lighting that solar plexus up. Go ahead and then just go ahead and feel that light moving up into the heart chakra. You are now connected from above and below with spirit and planet. So heaven meets earth right here in your heart chakra. Just go ahead and breathe right into that heart chakra. And on your exhale, you're going to expand your awareness of your heart chakra out 360 degrees around you. Good. Notice yourself expanding a little bit past all of the thoughts and emotions that you've ever embodied, all the stories you've been operating with, all of the beliefs you've been operating with. Just allow yourself to expand a little bit farther past those maybe expanding out four feet, five feet, just allowing your awareness to get bigger and bigger and more aware. And you're going to expand out now past the room you're in. Good. And you're going to expand out now past the building you're in. Allowing your awareness to get bigger than the building you're in. Notice there's no difference between the energy that vibrates making up your body, making up your thoughts, making up your emotions, and the energy that creates everything else in this building. It all just vibrates at different frequencies. That's the only thing that differentiates any of the energy. Notice yourself becoming one with all of it. You're all from the same source. You all came from pure consciousness. And on your next exhale, you're going to expand out past the town you're in. Allowing yourself to send love and blessings to everything and everyone in the town. Good. And allow yourself to expand out now past the state you're in or the region you're in. Sending love and blessings to everyone in this area. Allowing yourself to connect with all of the people you should meet or the money you can make or the opportunities to be had, the connections that need to form. Start to feel yourself connecting your energy with all of it. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and expand out past the country you're in. Just allowing yourself to become one and become to establish your awareness of connection with all in your country. Sending love and blessings to everything here. Everything that should happen here, we're just kind of connecting to it. All the connections you need to make or all of the ideas you want to have. Feel yourself just connecting in energy if those ideas are in existence here in this country. And on the next exhale, you're going to expand out past the country, out past the continent you're on, out past the oceans eventually out past the planet into the earth's atmosphere, noticing you're now getting bigger than all of the patterns that we have going on here on earth. 
And in just a second, you're going to cross the threshold out of the Earth's atmosphere and into the cosmos in three, two, one. Good. Just go ahead and feel yourself now expand it out way beyond all the programming we have here on Earth, all of the ways we do things, all of the patterns we're in, all of the things we think we're, are normal. Good. All the way things have always been done, the way we think, the way we act, the way we operate. Feel yourself now more aware, getting bigger than all of it, vibrating with the cosmos. Good. Just expanding your energy and start to breathe in all that awareness. Good. So you are now bigger than all the patterns you have down on that planet, right? The patterns you've been living in, the blocks that you have, those all exist just kind of in the individual energy field, sometimes the collective field with your with your people, right? With either the people in your country or the people in your group, your family, or some of it, some of it just being planetary uh, programming. Feel how you are bigger than all of that. So in this expanded awareness, this expanded state, you can now see anything. So when I prompt you to find some information in a second, you're going to be able to see it with ease because you're bigger and outside of all of your patterns. And so as I said earlier, today I want to do a little bit of clearing on the law of trust. So if you remember from the, from the video series or from Universal Law School One, the law of trust tells us that in order to have things happen the way we want, we must first have faith or trust before we see any results play out. And one thing about this law is that it's a 10th dimensional law. So in the 10th dimension of awareness, this is actually where you are free from worrying about what people are thinking, who is looking, what people are saying. You are free from all of that. It is not your job to be right. It is your job to be you. And when you're hooked up to this 10th dimensional energy, you're able to really be who you are, do what you do without regard for you know, without worry for what everyone is thinking. So I want you to, as, as I'm speaking about this, go ahead and just breathe in and allow yourself to tap into, there is a place in your awareness. There is a dimension you've been to and that you sometimes play in and out of. Kids are often in this dimension where you're not worried what people are thinking. You're just going to do what you wanted to do for 2024. You are just going to create what you want to create, say what you want to say, move how you want to move go with your purpose, go with guidance, free of worry of what everyone is thinking and saying. And as you start moving into the awareness of this dimension, you start tapping into this reality for yourself. What's going to happen is that you're going to start to feel a little bit of heaviness somewhere in your body, somewhere in your body, you are holding that fear or that programming or that shame you are holding the energy where you are worried about what people are saying, where you are worried about what others are thinking, right? Where you are worried about how it's looking. And so in this moment, I want spirit to show you where in your body does it start to feel heavy in this moment? Where are you holding the energy where you are worried about what people are going to say or who is looking? And just let spirit guide you to any place either in, on, or around your body. Go ahead and feel where it might feel heavy and you can't get this wrong. Wherever you're guided to in this moment, wherever it's starting to feel heavy, just let spirit show you where are you holding some of the worry about what it's looking like, what people are saying, what people are thinking. Can't get this wrong. And then as soon as you... Sometimes this will light up as being heavy. Sometimes spirit will just kind of, you'll just kind of feel something pointing. Otherwise, if it's the first place that pops into your head, just go ahead and start now breathing into that spot. And we're going to place a ball of light right on that spot. And go ahead and feel that ball of light contains pure consciousness, high frequency energy. We're just going to implant that high frequency energy right here in that dense pocket in that story, that pure consciousness, that pure light, what it does is it starts to get into the grooves of that blockage and it starts to break it up. And another thing that starts breaking it up is when we start getting conscious of where that energy came from, what it is, what it says. So go ahead and just breathe right into that dense spot. And what I'm going to ask spirit to show you right in this moment is how old was I? when this worry showed up in my life? How 
old was I when I started getting really aware and worrying about what things looked like? What people were thinking, what they were going to say. Good. And whatever you're getting, sometimes it can take a while. Sometimes you guys might not get an age, but spirit will just kind of start showing you some information. Go ahead and let spirit start showing you more information. What was going on around this time? What was going on around this time? And what was going on to make me worry about what things looked like? From whom did I learn that I need to start paying attention and be aware of what things look like? Who, from whom did I learn that I need to worry about what I was saying, what I was doing? And just breathing into this spot, allowing the story to bubble up. And just allow spirit to start showing you some of the emotion that's in there. As a story bubbles up, some of you may or may not remember the story. That's okay. The energy is coming up. Just allow yourself to feel the emotion or just feel the energy that's inside of you as we pull this up. Go so and feel into that emotion. We're going to open that up and we're going to let you feel through that. It feels like for about a full minute. So we're going to, as we isolate this feeling, this fear or this shame from whatever was going on at this age. And again, if you don't, if you don't remember the age, if you don't remember the story, that's okay. Just continue breathing into the spot and feeling what's there. It's hard to feel into. This is where I started to get careful. This is where I started to hold back a little bit, where it stopped being totally safe to be me. This is where I started worrying about what people were going to say or what it all looked like. Go ahead and let yourself just start to burn out that worry. There's a part of your soul still stuck in that age just from this programming. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. We have to learn these lessons as kids to stay safe in our environment. And now we no longer need this energy to stay safe. So it's okay to clear it. So just go ahead and keep breathing right in, feeling this energy, feeling this emotion burning it out. And I'm just going to start deleting, uncreating and transmuting all of this energy across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Everywhere it's not safe to be me, we're releasing that, uncreating it and transmuting it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Feel into everywhere I'm on guard, we're releasing that. Good, good. And now what I want you to do is I'm going to ask spirit to show you what conclusion did I make? What is the belief that formed based on this experience? What did I begin to believe based on this experience at this age? What did I decide was true? And just get really clear on that belief that formed or that thought that formed, whether that's beliefs about yourself, beliefs about what's safe or unsafe, beliefs about how the world is operating, beliefs about what other people will do. Go ahead and get really clear. What is that big belief? What's that big conclusion I made? Maybe it's a conclusion about who I am. And then go ahead, if you're here live, go ahead and write to me, what is the conclusion you made that you would then begin operating with that would hold energy in your field from that moment until today when we clear it? And just write it into me. And like I said, if you haven't been to one of these clearings before, what, what I'll do is I am going to read some of these responses. I may not get to all of them, but as we go through these, anywhere this energy exists on anyone, it clears. So if I see, so for instance, one person is saying, not worthy, I don't deserve to be here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the frequency of, I don't deserve to be here. 
And I'm going to ask everywhere this frequency exists in this group, in anyone listening in the future, anywhere there's a particular frequency to that conclusion. I don't deserve to be here. Everywhere you've ever concluded this, go ahead and feel the energy of it. And we're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And what I'm doing is I can also feel some of the side beliefs. And what's also coming up is that other people also don't believe I've deserved to be here. I shouldn't be here. I wasn't asked here. I wasn't invited here. Nobody wants me here. We're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. So of course, that's going to be a block to the law of trust, right? Because how can I trust the universe when nobody even wants me to be here? I don't deserve to be here. We're just releasing that, uncreating it, and transmuting it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And as we go through this clearing, just continue to breathe through your body. And I want each of you just to feel any emotions that come up for you. And you're just, if you need to purge a big set of tears or a scream or anything, just allow yourself to move through whatever comes up. This is just energy moving. Okay. Um, I'm not like everyone else and I can't have what they have. So what I'm doing, I feel, I can feel an energy in the, in the root chakra here and all down the legs. It says, um, uh, I don't trust that I'll have what I want. So we're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it. And then anywhere I've ever felt like I'm not like anyone else, what, what blocks you is the feeling like you're supposed to be everyone else. So supposed to be like everyone else. So everywhere you're holding the belief, I'm supposed to be like everyone else. We're just going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Yeah, what I'm getting is this energy of like, I don't like, you know, people always say, read the room. It's like the room is vibrating a certain way and all these people get together and they're the same everywhere. I'm not matching the vibration of the other humans. We're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it. So everywhere that implanted you with a little bit of energy around, um, no, it's not safe to be me because I'm so different. We're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, you can't show all your cards. You should put your attention and energy on others first. Good. So feel into everywhere I can't show all my cards. Okay, everywhere. Again, I'm just that. And what, what I'm getting is when I show all my cards, it's not safe. We're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And anywhere you guys are vibrating with the with the belief that you're supposed to put your attention on others, we're going to release that. Good. So it's just not safe to be me. So I'm going to put my attention on others. We're releasing that, uncreating it, and transmuting it. And then what I'm getting is a little bit of a knife in the back. I'm just going to pull that out. And as soon as I looked at the person who wrote that in, I'm seeing like 24 little knives from other people. So everywhere you've ever been stabbed in the back, uh, because you didn't put your attention on others first, we're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it. I'm just going to pull out all those little knives. Good. Good. Lots of anxiety here. So that's okay. What I what I recommend if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling like, oh, just breathe through it. Push yourself into the edge of it. It's just energy. And it's been stuck for so long for some of you that it feels like it's just something normal and you've learned how to operate on top of it. Now we're just going straight into it. We're going to pull it out so that you just aren't operating with any of this. So she's saying nowhere is safe, not even home. So feel into everywhere. I'm, I'm not safe anywhere. It is never safe to be me. We're releasing, uncreating, and transmuting that. So what I'm pulling up to is everywhere there's nowhere that I'm not concerned about what it's all looking like, what it all sounds like, what people are thinking. We're just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Some of you guys are pulling up this energy of it's only safe to be myself if if there's substances, if there's alcohol, if there's drugs, marijuana, um, and everywhere I can only, those are the only places where it's safe to be me. We're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it. What those do is they bring you into a love, a, a, a vibration, basically, um, a dimension where you are tapped into the fact that, that it's safe to be you. So I'm actually going to talk about that in Universal Law School too, in the law of responsibility and the law of one. So you don't actually get served by those substances. They just they just kind of take you to a place that you can get to without them. So we're just releasing that. 
Okay, everywhere people don't like me, we're gonna release that. I want everywhere in your body where you're holding the programming that people don't like me, I want that to start getting penetrated by all the light. And we're gonna release that. The deleting, uncreating, and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Everywhere I'm not good enough to love, we release that. Good. And feel into the person who wrote that in, what it's feeling like is that this is fact, right? Like I have enough evidence. I feel like you've got like a whole filing cabinet here or here is, here are the files. Here are the receipts of why I'm not good enough to love. It's not just about one thing that happened to me everywhere. I've got receipts and files. We're just going to start burning those files everywhere. What happened is that all that evidence built up because the energy was there from the, whatever the first couple things were that happened. So we're just going to release those original files. Good. Releasing, uncreating and transmuting that. And I'm feeling something strongly at 12 years old. The person that said, I'm not good enough to love at 12 years old. There's something where it was just like, okay, nail in the coffin. We're going to release that nail in the coffin. Everywhere it's not safe to be my highest self or show my gifts. So feel into everywhere it's not safe to show my gifts. When I show my gifts, I, you know, the, the theme here today is, is, you know, it's not your job to be right. It's your job to be you. And everywhere my gifts are me. Everywhere it's not safe to show my gifts as an expression of me. We're releasing that, uncreating it and transmuting it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay. She's saying life isn't safe. You aren't okay. You did something bad. I want each of you to feel into your body. Where are you holding some heaviness that you did something bad? Let spirit show you where are you holding some of the energetic residue that you did something bad because you did something bad. You got to remember you did something bad. So don't do it again, right? You got to worry about what everything looks like. So you don't do something bad. You got to worry about what you say so you don't do something bad. And I want you to pinpoint where that heaviness is at. Feel yourself bringing some bright white light, that ball of light, or some of you can just bring some liquid light from above right to that spot. Feel into everywhere I did something bad. Everywhere I live in fear of doing something bad. Good. We're just going to liquefy, pulverize, and dissolve. Dissolve, dismantle, dis. Uh, it feels like you need a couple of different frequencies, dissolve, dismantle, and disintegrate that energy everywhere. I did something bad. We release that uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Let all that energy out. Feel into this one's big in this group. This actually might be kind of like the main thing that a lot of you guys are clearing feel into everywhere. You've got any energetic residue this lifetime, old lifetimes, um, a lot of you guys have it from ages zero to five, everywhere you were shamed when you did something bad, just releasing, uncreating and transmuting that. The thing about our early life is that we don't know how it works yet, right? So if the parents don't teach, they just yell or they just punish and they don't say, hey, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, you're not supposed to put the, you know, the the cat's hand in the toaster, right? You, you didn't know, right? But so everywhere you got, you got in trouble before you knew it was wrong. I'm just going to release that, that what feels like trauma energy. And the way I read trauma energy is that energy is moving and then it freezes. So we're just going to unfreeze that trauma and let it release out of the system, deleting, uncreating and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Oh, there we go. Actually, somebody just released some energy from the ears. This person saying adults can't be trusted. Go ahead and release. That's the energy coming out of the ears. So everywhere I can't trust what the adults are saying. So I'm putting energetic earmuffs, right? I can't, I can't trust what they're doing. We're just releasing, uncreating and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Everywhere it's not safe to be playful. We're going to release that. Good. Still clearing from the ears and the throat, releasing everywhere. It's not safe to be playful and my natural self. Good. Allow, your, allow yourself to just breathe right into that body, pushing yourself to the edge of any discomfort you're feeling. Everywhere I'm not good enough, we just release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. So everywhere it's not safe to stand out. Everywhere I've got, I've got a dull my shine. It's not safe to stand out. We're going to release that. 
Good. Why isn't it safe to stand out? We're going to release all that fear of why. Good. Okay. And yay. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> um, I, I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I'll never be enough to be myself. I'll never be allowed to be myself. Okay. So what I want you to do, breathe into your body. Almost everybody holds this belief on some level, whether we're conscious of it or not. I want spirit to show you where it starts to feel heavy, where I'll never be enough. Being yourself is a privilege for those who are enough, right? That's the, that's the belief. So notice, of course, those people can be themselves. They're enough or they're deluded into thinking they're enough, right? Feel into everywhere. I'm not going to be enough to be myself. It just results in so much hurtful rejection. We're going to release, uncreate, and transmute that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And I'm just going to pull out these little pebbles of trauma. Like, so, like I said, energy moves, emotional energy moves. It's fluid, kind of like a, like a gas or a, a bubble of air or whatever. It moves through your body, your system. And then when there's a trauma or a shock, it freezes and it becomes kind of solid. It turns into a block. What I'm getting on some of this not enough energy is that it froze and then uh, turned into little pebbles, but stuck around. So I'm just going to release, uncreate, and transmute all those little pockets of energy that say I'll never be enough to be myself. Good. I'd better toe the line and do what teachers and society expect. Okay, just breathing into this one. Notice we all have to take on this energy to stay safe. We all have to take on this energy to kind of, this is like a collective energy on earth, right? We all do have to move together, right? So feel into where that blocked me from being myself. And everywhere I'd better toe the line and do what they expect. We're going to release, uncreate, and transmute that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. So again, there is use for this in some areas of our life, but we don't want it to apply it to everywhere. So you're still going to always have the ability to do what people expect if you want to, but you now also have the opening to not do what everybody expects. Good. Okay, so I have to do everything myself. I shouldn't ask others for help or to contribute. So feel into how I can't really, I can't really be me because I have to do everything by myself. So I, I have to, I shouldn't, ask others for help or do to, or to contribute. So I want you to feel into that body. Um, the energy behind that feels like, let me see. There's a whole thing going across the chest everywhere. Let's see what it feels like is I'm going to get criticism. If I, if I need anything, or if I ask for contribution, if I, even if I ask for a, a, like, just a little help. Or even if I ask for someone to just go back and forth with me, if I ask for something to be reciprocated, feel into everywhere um, that is bad or wrong. So everywhere, what it feels like too, is I can't ask for reciprocation. I can't ask for equal. We're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay. So, and everywhere in your body, I have to be, I have to be careful about what I let others know. So if I'm perceiving something a certain way, or if I know a certain something, feel into everywhere you have to be careful of what they know, of what I let them know that I know, right? So feel into everywhere you're being careful. This is going to be a big theme in 2024. A lot of, in the era of everyone being canceled, you can be canceled for saying, you know, I mean, for, I, if, you know, if I'm holding the wrong cup, people cancel me, right? Like, so feel into everywhere. I have to be careful with what I let others know I know or know that I'm thinking, and we're just going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. There we go. And feel into every... So again, I'm not taking away your ability to continue to not share that. Like it, sometimes you just want to be able to read the room. Sometimes it's going to be good to just hold, keep things to yourself, but we don't want you to block it... We don't want you to block yourself so that you can share nothing, right? So we're just making it so that you can discern instead of only having the one option of keeping everything to yourself. Okay, everywhere I'm not lovable, we're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. I'm just going to infuse some of that light right there in the back of the body. Everywhere I'm not lovable, just releasing that. Good. And remember when one person brings something up, I'm clearing the energy for everyone. So just continue to breathe into your body, tune into all the energy that's coming up. 
and just let it release out. So everywhere I need to change myself to be accepted, we're just going to release that out of your body. And everywhere you learned that, I'm going to release the seeds. So, you know, all the stuff that grew from that, we're releasing that. Okay, everywhere I've concluded that I am better off alone. Go ahead and let that release, uncreate and transmute. I can feel that transmuting along the whole left side of the body. Everywhere I'm shedding everyone out and I'm not able to be myself because I'm better off alone. Releasing that. Everywhere there's too much competition with me to just be me. Okay, so breathe into everywhere it hasn't been safe in this lifetime to be me because it creates too much competition. People get competitive with me or around me. And wherever that is rooted, wherever that comes from, we're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it. I actually get some of you getting that in the womb. Some of you competing for attention with mom while you're in the womb or competing with attention from siblings right after you were born. We're going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space and reality. Good. Okay. Everywhere I'm proceeding with caution, we're going to release that. So as we, as we move into 2024, one of the big themes is that lies aren't going to hold up anymore. So much truth is going to come to light. So much you, who you are, who you really are, is going to just come to the surface, whether you invite it up or not. So feel into everywhere you're still proceeding with caution and go ahead and just release that caution. It's happening. So we're just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting that. All the stories that tell me it's not safe, we'll just release that, uncreate it, and tra transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, everywhere. So she's saying, I can't be fully myself, or people get mad at me, judge me, make me feel small. It's better to be nice, quiet, and accommodating. What I want each of you to do, huh, breathe into that body. And again, the theme here is it's not your job to be right. It's your job to be you. I want you to feel into you. I want you to feel into being yourself. And everywhere your body starts to immediately pull up that I'm going to be judged. We're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And what I'm getting is a couple of ages, like just right away, age two, age three, age four, age five, everywhere people just learn to put you in your place quickly. We're just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting. Everywhere people are served when I feel small, we're going to release that, uncreate it, transmute it. Have you ever noticed that when you're around some of the most aware people or some of the most successful people, or, you know, just some of the higher vibrational people, they actually want you to feel big too. Like they also want you to feel like you are just the most amazing person that you actually are. They can see that in you. Right. So it's, it's really when people are trying to make you feel small, that's because they need to feel big. So everywhere you are a vibrational match for the type of person who needs to feel big by making you feel small, we're just gonna release that. And it's not wrong and it's not bad, it's just what you've been a vibrational match for because it's what you came to this planet and you learned really quickly, this is how the world is working, we're just gonna release that for you. So you can create something different. So you can be a vibrational match to different people or call forth the version of the same people who just don't do that. Oh, there we go, releasing. Oh, that feels so good. Huh. Okay. Wanting to be chosen chosen and setting myself up, got unhealthy relationships. I want to choose myself. What I'm picking up here, so you're saying I want to be chosen and I want to choose myself. What I'm picking up, the vibration is a question of who am I? Who is myself? Who is the version of me that I choose? What it feels like is there's so much programming on, okay, I know I need to be this for this person. I know I need to be this for this person. I know I need to be this for this person. You've picked up a pattern of being great at reading people and who you, who they need you to be. Let's go ahead and take that pattern and just release it, uncreate it and transmute it. It's tough to choose yourself when your version of yourself is dependent on who you're talking to. So we're going to release, uncreate and transmute that. And again, this isn't bad or wrong. It, it's a survival mechanism. Just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Oh, there we go. Releasing all that energy. Okay, not worthy of being heard, right? So I have to be seen and not heard. My voice doesn't matter. 
I want you to feel into everywhere I'm not worthy of being heard. And in fact, I want spirit, if you're up for it, go ahead and close your eyes. And I want spirit to show you from your early life or, or present day, who is reflecting back to me that I'm not worthy of being heard? Who is it that shows up and reflects this reality back that I'm not worthy of being heard? And I want you to place this person in front of you. And again, we're not villainizing them. Feel into how, what energy got stuck in you. And I want you to feel how it feels to be in the presence of the reflection that you're not worthy of being heard. And I want you to feel into the emotion, feel into the feeling, push yourself to the edge of the fear or the shame or the anger. Breathing through that, just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. And someone's saying, I feel numb, like I can't connect to the emotion. Go, that's okay. Just go ahead and feel yourself connecting to the numbness. Go ahead and allow yourself to just push yourself to the edge of whatever you're feeling right now. Sometimes it's okay. And we're, there we go. We're just going to release, uncreate, and transmute all that energy across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Sometimes the numbness comes up because you learned that your feelings don't matter. Your needs don't matter. So everywhere, I can't get in touch with how I feel because I've learned that it doesn't matter. We're going to release that, uncreate it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And so this person is saying, I am disgusting. People can't be trusted. Men can't be trusted. I can't say what is true. So feel into that body and everywhere you've numbed yourself out to, this is just how life is. I can't say what's true. I can't be myself. We're releasing that, uncreating it and transmuting it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Okay, everywhere, everything is always hard for me. We're gonna release that. What I'm picking up there is that people weren't patient with you. So we're gonna release that, uncreate it and transmute it. I see an image of a little girl who just needs to go at the pace of a little girl, but because she doesn't get something at the pace of an adult, then she's being taught that she can't do it. And so she's feeling like it's hard. But what it feels like is the age inappropriate lessons were given. So everywhere, the, the belief is everything's always hard for me, but feel into everywhere, everywhere the, the energy that's in there says, it kind of says that I'm not fast enough. We're just going to release that, uncreate it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Everywhere you're holding apologies in your body. So feel into everywhere. I can't be myself because I'm just so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I've got, I've done something wrong. Just releasing, uncreating and transmuting that. Good, good, good. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Okay, so feel into everywhere I'm fearing success. So here's what I want each of you to do. Um, okay, so go ahead and breathe into your body and I want you to feel into everywhere. You know who you are on some level, in some dimension. When you hit that 10th dimensional energy, you have you get little glimpses of who you actually are. And so, yes, there's blocks, but there's also space between that blocks, those blocks where you can tap into the real you. So go ahead and breathe into the body. And I want you to just start feeling into, yes, there might still be some heaviness up, but also tap into how there's also the real you. There's also greatness. Feel into how you've had little glimpses of the real you. You've had glimpses of moments from your life where you felt like you. I just go ahead and breathe in and let that energy start to expand. And I want spirit in this moment to show you one moment from your life where you really felt like you were you. You got to be you. Even if things weren't totally perfect, no, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and just tap into where you were you. So we've been clearing blocks. We're now going to kind of move into a space where we're filling things in. 
I want spirit showing you. So you know this vibration from somewhere. You know what it's like when you are being you. Maybe you're doing something you love doing. Maybe you're doing something you're really good at. Maybe you're being yourself. Maybe you are loving someone. Maybe you're with kids. You're with uh, a certain group. Let spirit show you a glimpse from your life where you were you, where you got a glimpse of you. And I want, as you breathe in, let's go ahead and amplify this memory. So this is a vibration that's just, it's been there all along, but we're going to go ahead and turn the volume up on this vibration. Breathing that in and turning the volume up on this experience by just getting present to it, making this the focus of your mind right now. Go ahead and go really, really deeply into this memory or this part of you. I am totally me when I'm doing this. It doesn't matter if I'm right. I'm just being me. And just breathing into this, noticing that as we amplify this energy, we're turning the volume up on it. So this starts to be the energy you vibrate with. This starts to be the, the broadcast that's coming out, that's going out to the universe. I feel how this starts to be, become the broadcast going out to the universe. And so the universe reads this energy from you, creates a reality, reflects a reality back to you that matches this. Good. So just feel into that and let it amplify even more. And as we amplify this energy of you being you, and as we amplify this energy of you knowing you and you feeling like you, it starts to really push all those blocks up to the surface. So we're just going to let all of that start to just naturally dissipate, dissolve, disintegrate and release across all time, dimension, space and reality. Continue, your only job right now is to continue tapping into and amplifying and breathing into you being you. Again, you remember this vibration from somewhere and right now you're amplifying it and you're creating an inhospitable environment for every block you've ever taken on. You're creating an inhospitable environment for every emotion. You're kind of bringing that numbness out of numbness and making it move again. We're releasing, uncreating, and transmuting everywhere. I ever thought it wasn't safe to be this. Just deleting, releasing, uncreating that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good. Just... Again, your only job right now, you are tapping into a moment from your life when you were you. And if it feels good, let spirit play you a slideshow. Maybe you've had another moment where you got to feel like you. You've had a glimpse somewhere in this lifetime. And maybe you've even just gotten glimpses of this real you in fantasy, in meditation, in journaling, in writing, in by reading a book where you just resonated with, yeah, that's who I am. This person, this character doesn't matter. You know the vibration from somewhere. You're just continuing to build that vibration up by focusing on this reality. As you turn up the volume on this reality by placing your thoughts and emotions and awareness on it, you again, you create an inhospitable environment for all the programming. And so all that programming is, is breaking apart. And I'm just releasing now from the solar plexus everywhere, everywhere I gave away my power to all those people who, who I couldn't be myself in front of, all the people that I'm scared of here, just releasing, uncreating, and transmuting that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Good, we release all that energy. Good, good, good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more light right on your guys' shins, knees, calves, and feet. And everywhere, it hasn't been safe to be this person. It hasn't been safe to walk through this earth as this person. We just delete that, uncreate it, and transmute it. And so now as you're focusing in on just embodying the energy of the real you, again, it's okay if this glimpse of the real you is small. We're, what we're doing is we're taking it from being small and maybe just a couple moments from your life, we're taking it and we're making it the primary vibration. What if this is the only signal the universe got from you? Again, you're, you are vibrating. You are sending a vibrational signal. You're like an antenna. The universe taps into whatever vibration you're holding, reflects a reality back to you that matches this. So we are cranking that up. And let's go ahead and start to feel now. Let spirit start to give you a glimpse of what it feels like when you get to kind of be this you more often. Start to let your body feel what it feels like. Let yourself feel the gratitude of, and the, the freedom Breathe in, just allowing yourself to taste the vibration, get a little pink spoon and sample that vibration of this reality. There is a dimension, the 10th dimensional law of trust tells us that 
you know, when, when it's not, it's the 10th dimensional place tells us that there is a reality available where we are not worried about what people are thinking, what it's all looking like. Sample that reality even deeper now. How would it feel in your body? How does it feel in your body in this exact moment when you don't have to worry about what it looks like? And I want spirit to let you fantasize. I want spirit to show you some images of your life. Even if it feels like you're fantasizing, just let spirit show you a preview of you being you, free from worry about what it all looks like. And just breathe that in. As you're clairvoyantly looking into your future, let your physical body now match that vibration, match that reality. Just breathing that in. Good, good. And my next question for you is how does it feel to be here? Let yourself celebrate. How does it feel to be here? And what I want you to do, write into, if you're here live, write to me. What thoughts are you now having? Now that life works this way, what is the affirmation you're saying to yourself? What it, what are you looking around at and seeing that you're affirming is here? Like, oh, I love this life. This things are working. This feels so good. Let yourself, what is what are the thoughts you're thinking when life is working this way? Just take a minute and let those thoughts move through your head. What thoughts are you thinking? Good. Good. And if you kind of can't get there, if you're still processing some old energy, that's okay. What I would recommend is just allow yourself to think, you know, when I am in that place where I don't care what people think, what is it that I'm thinking there? If that were me, what would I be thinking? Right now, we're just kind of tapping into what your affirmation is moving forward. She's saying, I'm a magical unicorn. I'm a superstar. I'm totally awesome. Things are always working out for me. This is how it was always meant to feel. I love that one. So just breathe into your body. And if you can, write your affirmation somewhere, right? And this is going to be your guidepost for 2024. This is if you write it on a post-it or you have it on a phone background or write it on your desktop or in a note somewhere. This is going to be the vibration you're calling in. So when I am just being me, what am I saying to myself? What is true? I'm prosperous. I'm loved. I trust myself. I trust men. I'm beautiful. I'm magnetic. I'm worthy of abundance. It's so easy to be me. This is how it's supposed to be. Good. I love whatever happens in my life. Life is so much easier. My energy goes towards the things I enjoy and are part of my purpose. Yeah. Well, what does your life look like when you're not leaking your energy to worrying and you're just being you? One of my favorite, one of the favorite things that I was ever coached on, and this was a, in a, in a business course. Some of you guys were in that business course with me. Um, my mentor said, you have to pay your bills, but you don't have to worry about paying your bills. So let's apply that to more than just bills. You have to be yourself, but you don't have to worry about being yourself, right? You get to be yourself or whatever it is you're wanting to do or create, you know, like I have, you have this person saying, spending a lot of energy worrying. I have to run my business, but I don't have to worry about running my business. I have to show up live to webinars, but I don't have to worry about showing up live to webinars, right? I I have to I have to take care of my house, but I don't have to worry about taking care of my house. Feel into that energy. I can be my true self. I'm feeling the light within me. My life is filled with great joy. And so go ahead and just take a second and breathe this in. This is the new reality. Notice some of you might still have blocks releasing and that's okay and that's normal. And what happens is we dig them up and sometimes they can take a little while to process. So maybe for the next hour or for the next day for some of you, they'll still process out. But since we've gotten them out of being dormant and we've loosened them and we've applied a lot of light and pure consciousness into your body, you're now more aware than all the blocks that just came up. You are bigger than them. You've seen them. And so now you, they're, it's impossible to, to now think that that's fact. And that's how life works. You are now bigger than them and more aware than them. And if you feel like they still feel like fact, I'd recommend some journaling so that you can just 
All your job is, is just to get more aware, to get bigger than all of the stuff. And as you merge into that source of energy, right? The, the, I talked about the law of one in the video series, right? As you start to understand that you've never actually been separate from anything in this universe, it's all in oneness at, at, its, at the highest dimension, at the highest level of awareness, you start merging into that. It's not saying you're supposed to bypass all the lower dimensions, but what it tells you is you don't have to worry about it. Right. So feel into, I got this. I'm grateful. I love my life. Just start to feel into how you've, you've now put the, put the wheels in motion for a totally different year than you were vibrating a, an hour ago. Start to feel into, all right, this is my guidepost. Everything I'm going to create this year comes from here. This is who I've always been. Isn't that such a theme here today? And that's one of the things that I felt. It's like, I always knew this, right? I, like, I think I said this in the law of one video. People start to, it's not that they feel like they're learning it. It's that they feel like they're remembering it. Right now, you're not learning who you are. You're remembering. So let's go ahead and take one more deep breath in. And let's just go ahead and release. Good. Tapping in as you continue to breathe, just start to breathe into all the open space you just created. Tapping into, you're now putting a completely different signal out to the universe. And release. Good, good, good. Awesome, you guys. So where there used to be some low vibrational energy and programming, you are now filled in with pure consciousness, pure light. You're connecting with that oneness, that law of one. You're connecting with that law of trust. So it's going to be a lot easier to trust that you're going to go where you got to go because now that you can be you, you're going to, the more you are you, the more you're going to get where you're going, right? If you've still got all this programming that says you're someone else, then you're not going to get to use destination, right? So the more you vibrate as you, and you're less as you're programming, the more you get to where you're going. So let's go ahead and take one more deep breath in and release. 